Welcome, my dear family and friends, to another day with Riding with the Stars. And today we're going to be riding, not so much with a young star, but with a, a bishop. Yes, today we're going to be riding with St. Oscar Romero, who's from El Salvador. And Oscar Romero was born into an ordinary family with many, many children and siblings. And But his father said one day that he is going to be a carpenter because he was really good with working with his hands and fixing things. But Oscar Romero said, no, I want to follow the Jewish carpenter. And so he entered seminary at the age of 14 and became a priest at the age of 24. And so after his, his formation being a priest, as a young Kochechen, he started to give these beautiful sermons. So he reached out to these local radio stations and in fact started to proclaim the word of God fiercely. Um, and he was not shy to proclaim. He wanted to become a witness, a martyr. And so right before, 10 years before his death in 1970, he became and was ordained a bishop. And he was very outspoken with the different attacks and different threats that the government imposed on the people. And he had a very great love for the poor. And so he focused a lot of the pref on the preferential work of the poor. And Oscar Romero and these radio stations, again, he would strongly and violently speak against these violent activities of the government. And uh, he would always be um, telling the people that I will be giving my life and sacrificing for the salvation and redemption of the people of El Salvador. And so we'd always fight against uh, the threats of life, of social just social issues. And so this outspoken man who proclaimed the word, proclaimed the truth, was a threat to the government. And so in 1980, as he was celebrating the Holy Mass, he was shot and killed and assassinated for his witness for Jesus Christ, for that Jewish carpenter he was going to decide to follow at a young age. And so in today, in journeying with uh, Oscar Romero, who died in 1980, what can we learn? Because one of his fans is our Pope today, Pope Francis, who canonized him. And I was actually there for the canonization process in Rome. And I had also many brothers from El Salvador. And so it was really beautiful to see and witness this amazing saint and see the life and faith of my El Salvadorian brothers and so they come from amazing families and and strong faith and so they always are keen on proclaiming the gospel without any kind of um, dumbing down the faith or any kind of gray or white area and so they were always very strong in loving and proclaiming God's word and so my dear brothers and sisters what can we learn from our dear Oscar Romero we are baptized Christians we are baptized with three roles right priest prophet and king and maybe as a prophet we sometimes are shy we kind of move ourselves to the side thinking oh we, we, we see the good prophets in the old testament moses um all these prophets and uh we we kind of shy away from really proclaiming truth we're afraid of dying for our faith but in the church we are called to be that mouthpiece of god the mouthpiece that doesn't shy away from truth and so my dear brothers today as we're journeying with bishop oscar romero let us learn let us pray for the many bishops and priests of the diocese of of the world and our lives that they may proclaim god's word without shying away making not making it feel good kind of homilies but actually proclaim good proclaim the truth and proclaim against the violent activities of anyone and so that we may really truly live as disciples as martyrs and so do not be afraid let's keep walking the good faith fight with strength and courage that this advertise me may receive the grace to be able to say yes even when we're our life is threatened. And so with this, my brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day, and may God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's challenge. Let's especially remember all the missionaries who fearlessly proclaim the Word of God, introducing Christ to those who have never heard of Him, and in the process, face imprisonment and endure persecutions. 
Shall we proclaim today as a day of fast for our missionary brethren? Ejaculatory prayer. Into your mighty hands, O Lord, I offer our beloved church authorities. 